Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> What's going on, everybody? It's your boy Christian Ballard, Ballard Sports Media, coming at you late on a Friday night. I am tired, but committed to making this video for you guys. Looking at the Alabama defense summer preview edition after previewing the Alabama offense, of course. But we look at the defense and some key guys such as DJ Dale, Dallas Turner, Brian Branch, Kool-Aid McKinstry, and you get the rest of them, man. The big question I would have this year for the defense is can it be consistent? I'm talking the secondary. I'm talking the defensive line. I'm talking the linebackers. Can they have – they open with Utah State. Let's say if they can pressure that quarterback, if they could get sacks, if they could get some picks, if they could just be good and get off the field on third down, which has been the biggest issue for them in recent years, if anything, with the defense, is getting off the field on third down. Can they do that week one, start with week one, but then carry it to Texas week two and then Vandy week three and so on and so forth. I don't have the whole schedule memorized and in front of me. But first, I want to share an article that I put out the other day, the top five Alabama defensive players to watch step up in 2022. And I'm going to read it and kind of go off of this for the basis of the video. But I think I want to start out with Eli Ricks, who I did not get a picture up for. Um, but I'll full screen this for you guys. Right. So the Alabama defense and summer preview, the top five players I want to watch this year. Right. The number one guy, top five guys, number one is Eli Ricks. Where was he at LSU? He wasn't on the field much, which is con considering he was the number one recruit in Florida in the 2020 class. Uh, that's a good state to recruit, and he was the number one recruit out of there in 2020. It's crazy he wasn't on the field much. Him and Jordan Battle will lead the secondary most likely. He's fast. He's a very versatile guy that can attack the football. Watch out for him because he'll get you when you least expect it if you're a wide out. He hits hard. He's strong. He's fast. He's consistent. He's a good playmaking defensive machine. Chris Bray as well is off the line, right? He's a kind of a linebacker type of guy that's been there entering his uh, junior year with the Tide. Um, seven tackles last year. Uh, he's expected to be a starter. Uh, maybe not a key every – like – not a key name you hear every game, but once in a blue moon, if you hear that name, know it. Chris Bray as well. Uh, who can do a lot? He's number 41 for us, uh, 6'3", 240. He's a sophomore from Baltimore. He had seven tackles on his own last year, no sacks, uh, 13 total tackles. He assisted on six of those. Uh, but he's he's expected to step up at the linebacking position. He's going to enter his junior year with the Crimson Tide. Um, and then you got guys like Dallas Turner, right? I mentioned Dallas Turner. I'm excited for this guy. Dallas Turner. Him and Will Anderson, that's the duo. That is all that you need to know. As a freshman, he got two sacks in a national championship game against Georgia, but that was just the start. 14 tackles, eight and a half sacks the entire year. He's fast off the edge, gets off blocks really well. Other than that, I mean, just watch out for him. He's a very versatile player, very consistent, very well built, strong, fast, and elusive uh, on the football field. So Dallas Turner is the key guy. That's the guy that I'm hearing all the experts say. Could, alongside Will Anderson, be the guy to get after the quarterback, um, and get pressure, get up in your face, get through the offensive line, get through the tackles, everything like that. So he's the guy that we want to watch out for. Um, another key player that I'd watch out for is Jaquincy Kool-Aid McKinstry. 
Um, he played some receiver in high school. He's mostly a defensive back that's built for that job. He had nine tackles and a pick last year, broke up a few passes on the field. He's also a Tuscaloosa native, by the way, raised up in the uh, Curves of Tide country. Uh, he got a sack in the Iron Bowl. He played some good moments against teams like Georgia the first time around. I think if he just plays more and starts full time, uh, which I expect him to, I think that could be the key, and I think that could be one of the key guys uh, for the Crimson Tide's defense. You know, this is one of the most loaded uh, classes that I think um, – or not – I don't want to say class, but I think one of the most loaded defenses that we've had in a while. Pete Golding does return for a fourth year in a row uh, with the Crimson Tide. We're, we're excited to have him back. I know uh, – some moments – here's what I don't understand. I am going to go off on the fan base real quick. Why is it that because of one bad play, we say we need to fire Pete Golding? I, I, I understand the, the, the standard that's set, but, I mean, I think that Alabama fans have given them too much – given him too much heat, um, you know, in the past, about, oh, we had a bad defensive game or we lost because of the defense. You lose one game and you want to say fire the, the coordinator automatically. I mean, I, I, I don't get it. There have been some good moments, some good games, and I, I'm sure that maybe this year will be a, a turnaround for Pete Golding and what he could bring um, to the Crimson Tide in 2022. Looking at that um, – there's a lot he can contribute. I mentioned some guys that are on on this roster. You know, DJ Dale, uh, Dallas Turner, Brian Branch, Kool-Aid McKinstry. Uh, we could go down the list with Jordan Battle, um, Henry Toho Toho, who had a 111, led the team in tackles at 111 last year. Um, and he's going to be good off the edge, you know. We could play him up front. We could play him at middle linebacker, which I think is where he's mostly going to end up playing. You know, we lose guys like Fedaria Mathis and Christian Harris and Josh Joe, but, you know, we bring a lot back and Daniel Wright. And uh, we lost Drew Sanders to Texas. Well, Brian Ray, I'm not I – th I think he went pro, but – what? Okay. Sorry about that. Um, so there's a lot of different guys that could definitely step up for the Alabama defense in 2022 overall. Um, I think it's going to be a good unit. I think that it's hopefully consistent um, and can step up at times when it needs to. Um, and, uh, you know, just – you know, I, I'm kind of lost here. I, here. Here's what I'll say. Nick Saban is a defensive guru, a defensive-minded head coach that knows what he's doing. And people can say whatever they want to about Kirby Smart, this or that. Kirby Smart played defense. He, he played in college. He was pretty good. I'll admit that. But Nick Saban still installed a lot in Kirby Smart and helped him in many, many ways. And ever since he's left, yeah, it, it hasn't been the same. It's just about finding the right guy for the job to step up, to get these young players to their potential, to get them where they need to be and helping them succeed on the football field. Is that Pete Golding? Me personally, I don't believe so. I don't know who the next guy is going to be, but I'll tell you this, if it's not fixed, this year in a year where it's expected to be probably the best defense in all of college football. If it's not fixed, if it's not stepped up, it's, it's going to be a long year. Um, I expect it to be better. I, I, I think Nick Saban expects it to be better. All tied fans expect it to be better uh, this summer or this fall, I should say, uh, previewing it here in the summer, though. Um Man, I think the talent is there. Jordan Battle leads the secondary. Will Anderson leads up front. Outside of that, 
the, there's no excuses. We are junior and senior led this year. So that you can't say, well, they're just kids. They're young. They're inexperienced. They're not. No, even Dallas Turner had like 15 tackles last year or whatever it was, eight and a half sacks as a freshman. They played a lot of freshmen last year. There's no excuse why they can't be better this year, why this whole unit can't be better this year. Tim Smith, DJ Dale up front on the line, Henry Toto Toto. Um, I, I, I mean, you name it. Name a player. They're probably going to play, get some reps, and be good enough to contribute. Man. Anyway, that's really all I got for this one. Kind of quick, a little quicker than – then the offensive preview, but I'll say this. I expect this defense to be stepped up, ready to go in a machine, an elite machine in 2022 for the Alabama Crimson Tide. And you can bet Nick Saban is going to be on these guys. It looked good in the spring game, uh, especially what was on the white team. Uh, the first string guys looked pretty good. They were fast. They were resilient. They were tough. And, you know, they, man, they're, they're going to be dominant this year. Now, I'm not sit, I'm not going to sit here and say it's going to be the best in history or the best that Saban's ever had. And I'm not even going to say that it's going to be better than what Georgia had last year because that would be crazy. You'd say I was high to say something stupid like that. But believe me when I say that, you will see consistency. You will see guys that want to play football, that want to pressure the quarterback, that want to pick the ball off. You will see all of that this year in 2022. So I want to hear from you guys in the comments below. Let me know uh, what you guys think of this defense. Again, guys like Chris Brazewell to step up, guys like Henry Toto, Tim Smith, Drew, uh, uh, DJ Dale, uh, Justin E. Boyd B. Malachi Moore is a guy that I didn't put up here, didn't really talk much about, and I apologize. That's another guy to keep an eye on, too. He has been, the past two seasons, a really good linebacker, can go after the football, can pick you off if you're a quarterback, and he's just going to be another extra piece of this this defense, and it's going to be something special and something fun to see. But I'm excited, and I think that it's going to be what carries this team to a national championship yet again. I love you guys. Jesus loves you. Keep your head up. Please like, comment, and subscribe right here to Ballard Sports Media for more sports content. And until next time, folks, Ballard Sports Media. Check it out. Love y'all. Peace out, and we'll see you later. Roll time roll.